Okay, here's the second portion of the four uh, salt mix comparison test. On the plastic bag, you see Sea Chem Reef Salt. On the right hand side, you'll see a bucket of uh, reef crystals. I'm gonna go ahead and put five half cup scoops of each into a five gallon bucket. And uh, come back in about 15 minutes to see how clear the mixes have come up and uh, check for the specific gravity. So here we go. Starting with the reef crystals. Now for the sea can. Now what you'll notice after 15 minutes, the sea cam is going to still be cloudy, the reef crystal should be clearing up, but it does take more of the reef crystal salt to mix at 1.025 or 1.026 which is what I run my reef at. So that's it for now, be back in about 15 minutes. Okay it's been about 15 minutes, on the right hand side once again you have reef crystals which is cleared up. On the left hand side you have sea chem reef salt which is still a bit cloudy and I don't know if you see those little bubbles floating on top it actually makes like somewhat of a film and uh, I would say it would probably take about another two hours for it to clear up. Uh, the specific gravity with um, five half a cup scoops on the reef crystals was 1.023 and on the sea chem reef salt was 1.024. After 24 hours of mixing, I'll go ahead and do the same test as I did with the Red Sea Coral Pro and the Tropic Marine Pro Reef and test for alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. Okay, gents, this is another thing to consider. Um, I'm pretty much out of reef crystals and I opened up another 50 gallon bag of Sea Chem Reef Salt and I got those big chunks right there. The bag was airtight sealed there was no uh, salt coming out of it and those big chunks uh, came in it they were actually bigger I broke off whatever I could however I'm gonna have to probably smash them with a hammer or something because they're real real hard that's another thing to consider if you're considering changing over to uh, sea chem reef salt um, today I was uh, checking online and BRS happened to have a sale on HW Marine they're normally like 73 plus dollars a box for a 160 gallon mix they were going for about 53 I saw some good reviews on it and um, you know that's 23 plus dollars worth of savings per box I jumped jumped on it and got four boxes so I'll be covered for more than a year when I do get that salt I'll go ahead and post a review on it as I have with all the other salts that I'm doing the research on all right Okay, here's the second portion of the four salt comparison test. I have on the left Sea Chem Reef Salt and on the right I have the Instant Ocean Reef Crystals. So we'll go ahead and check the alkalinity. Zero it out on the Hannah Checker.
invert the vial a couple of times insert and test Okay, multiply that amount by 0.056, gives you a total of 9.85 dKH. Now for the reef crystals. Okay, multiply the 130 by 0.056 and it comes up to 7.28. This is part of the inconsistency issues that led me to go ahead and test these different salts. I'll test the calcium next. Okay, next is the calcium portion. Once again, I will start with the Seacam Reef Salt first. Okay, you got 468 for the Seacam Reef Salt. Reset. Put in the reef crystals. Reset that. Grab some of the water from the reef crystals mixing bucket. My bad, I almost forgot the other reagent. Okay, I got 390 for calcium on the reef crystals. And I'll go ahead and stop the camera and then set up for the magnesium test. Okay, next is the magnesium portion. I'm using the Salifert magnesium test kit. 
same one as I used and we're gonna start with the Seachem Reef Salt Okay, now we're gonna go just until it turns blue. I got a little bit more than 0.2 milliliters. which puts it at between 1170 to 1200 parts per million which is not not too good I'll go ahead and pause it I have to rinse out the vial and then I'll come back and do the reef crystals okay now for the reef crystals I know in these videos I haven't explained in detail how I'm using the test kits uh, because this ain't a video on the test kits, it's just doing the salt comparison. Um, measuring the big three, alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. There are a whole bunch of other videos on how to use these test kits. If you guys are not familiar with them, you guys could just look them up on YouTube. Uh, I'm a big fan of the HANA checkers. They are super, super easy to use. However, they do not make a magnesium test kit. Sometimes when I get some crazy readings, I have a couple other test kits. I have API, I have the Red Sea. Uh, test kit also that measures alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. And my test kits are pretty much uh, spot on, so that's why I use these. These are easier to use than the Red Sea um, test kits. See, this is my issue with uh, reef crystals. Even though the calcium measured pretty good, it just went past the 0.4 mark, which is extremely low for magnesium. You are looking at about 900 parts per million. Other tests uh, I've ran have been about a thousand somewhere around that range 900 to a thousand parts per million in magnesium for reef crystals which is the whole reason I went and bought all these salts I know I bought the small um, bucket of the Red Sea Coral Pro the small box of Tropic Marin uh, Pro Reef as I back out you'll see them all right here I'm not knocking any salt I've used reef crystals for about two years uh, successfully I mean it's been all right my corals grown and all that but like I said um, I test I do my salt water changes every Saturday I test every Wednesday I do a test in the middle of the week and I test the salt water I'm mixing and I like I said I noticed the inconsistencies with the reef crystals freshly mixed calcium's uh, been spot on pretty much but the alkalinity and the magnesium have been uh, in my opinion low 
So I read some reviews, heard good stuff about the Seachem Reef Salt. Committed to that 200 uh, gallon box. Um, I don't like the magnesium uh, level on it. Calcium and alkalinity is pretty, pretty decent. Uh, Red Sea Coral Pro has been the only one that's been spot on to what what's listed on the bucket. Tropic Marine Pro Reef um, has very low alkalinity. I've I've done other tests where it measures 6.6, uh, 6.8, um, which is pretty low in my opinion. I I do dose. However, if I'm paying $92 for a bucket uh, for 200 uh, gallon salt mix. I expect it to be somewhere where where I want to be at, which is anywhere from you know 1350 to 1400 magnesium alkalinity. I like it at at about nine dKH, and my calcium, you know, anywhere from 400 to 450 is fine for me. Um, now I did these tests uh, to see for myself. I did a lot of research and I saw people posting their results. Um, I just figured since I hadn't seen a video comparing these four salts with the test being done in um, you know in front of the camera I thought it'd be a good idea to do it myself just to help other uh, people in the hobby so I'm not the best uh, uh, person you know to do uh, commentating or uh, the best cameraman uh, but you know hopefully this information helps those people in the hobby make a decision on a, on a good salt or at least uh, you know, gives them the idea to test their, their salt, you know, from batch to batch because in this hobby, um, a loss of coral can be real expensive. Um, it's, it's more expensive than buying a $92 uh, bucket of salt or, um, or, you know, supplementing. And I do re recommend if you supplement, you know, stick with a salt for a while and then do your test. Um, I've seen people on forums uh, start supplementing without even testing you know uh, you're basically dosing without even knowing what you need or if if you uh, have enough calcium and you're overdosing calcium or alkalinity um, do test first monitor your um, your parameters if you plan on dosing you know check uh, how much calcium and alkalinity is consumed magnesium is consumed at a slower rate um, and then you know go and dose uh, accordingly if you decide to do so all right hope this helps uh, go ahead and feel free to comment, uh, subscribe.